Topic six, contributed capital. Contributed capital is any amounts paid into the corporation by shareholders for reasons other than to purchase shares. If it was to purchase shares, this would be under share capital. So there are two main buckets under the shareholders equity, stuff that shareholders contributed and stuff that was internally generated by the company. So items internally generated by the company would include retained earnings and accumulated other comprehensive income, which we'll see in a subsequent video. Here, contributed capital is amounts paid into the corporation by the shareholders that didn't result in an issuance of shares captured under share capital. This may include donated capital, such as when an asset is given to the company by a shareholder. Then it should be recorded at fair market value, where we debit the asset and credit donated capital. We do not record this as a gain because the company didn't gain anything. Um, it received the asset. This donated capital appears within the contributed capital section of the balance sheet underneath the shareholders' equity. Uh, the financial statements must note the source of this donation. Contributed capital would also include donated shares. For example, if a shareholder donates shares back to the company, they should be retired. The value of those shares using the average cost method is credited to contributed capital account. Let's look at a question. Which of the following would not cause an increase in contributed capital? A, a company receives a donation of land from a shareholder. B, a company repurchases and retires shares at $12 per share when the average issuance price is 17 per share. Or C, a company issues par value preferred shares at par. So A would result in an increase in contributed capital because they would debit the asset and credit um, the contributed capital account to reflect that donation. B is correct because a company repurchasing and retiring shares for less than the average issuance price would result in a credit to contributed surplus from a contributed capital for the difference from the cash flowing out the door and the debit to the uh, share capital account. However, C, C is not correct. Pardon me, C is not, uh, would not increase uh, contributed capital, which is why it is the correct answer here, because it would not increase contributed capital. When a company issues par value preferred shares at par, they would debit cash and credit share capital, not contributed capital for these preferred shares. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next.